Joe, if they don't protect the quarterback any better than that, it's going to be a long afternoon. Tied at 10. We'll be right back. Roy, great work, buddy. Protect the quarterback. It's genius. All right, water. It's precisely 67 degrees. Mmm, perfect. I've got a smoked Gouda, a Munster, and I've got some Mandarin. They choose that. All of our attention's gone back. through. Five, four, three, two, one. Can I just get a water somewhere? There is big money in talking about 22 guys chasing around a leather ball 18 times a year. At least a million a game if you are Troy Aikman. In his new ESPN contract, he's going to make $18 million a year. Tony Romo, $17.5 million. Joe Buck, 11. Kirk Herbstreet, 6. And it's free agency season for pretty much all NFL broadcasters. So commence the broadcasting game of musical chairs, astronomical salaries, and bidding wars. Joining me now... Radio talk show host Tony Katz, who, like me, forewent the easy life of commentating NFL games on Sunday. We have both real jobs, of course, as smoke, drink, talk. I'm here. Look, there you go. Wait a second. They have real jobs. It's just we're schmucks. That's the <laughs> difference. Who yeah. knew that the personality side of these things would be more important for the audience than the actual play on the field? Yeah, it's pretty amazing, amazing to watch. You think about what this is really worth for these guys, the personality of this interaction between the color guy and the play-by-play -play guy. Salary breakdown based on $17 million. A million per regular season quarter, uh, regular season game, quarter million per quarter. That's $2.8 million per touchdown that they call. Are people going to watch the NFL regardless of who's calling the game? The Mannings in their basement seem to get a pretty good rating as well. Because they're the Mannings. The personality part absolutely matters. It's about not only watching the game, but who's explaining the game to you. Do you like them? Do you have faith in them? Are they giving you something that you can't get anywhere else? Tony Romo was on a tear when he first joined CBS. He was calling plays before they happened, and he was dead on perfect. You're like, how did this guy not win Super Bowls <laughs> with the Cowboys? You were stunned by it. No, That's I, I was gonna so say, amazing. Who knew that Tony Romo would have a far more successful career as a broadcaster than he did as quarterback? But, it, but it, it, he had a fine career as quarterback. He's just bringing in incredible dollars and not getting hit in the head uh, with uh -huh. it. And remember, some of these guys went through a lot to be able to get to to, to this position, but the personalities clearly matter and it makes people feel connected in a, in, a, in a very, very real kind of way to the game. And that's what people are, they want. And that's what ESPN and clearly uh, Fox, you would think was gonna pay for. But the story was, was that Fox never countered the ESPN deal. And they said, hey, go have a fine career. So now the question is, is Joe Buck gonna forego $11 million in his final year and go with him to ESPN? Or are they gonna keep him around? Yeah, well, there's that, and then there's this other wrinkle, this company called Amazon that also has a few bucks playing around. And what's different is, is there, you can only have one guy or two guys calling a game, whereas anybody can commentate on political stuff, but the NFL owns the rights. It's just one team calling the game. Again, I made a terrible mistake in my career. And we should be clear, it's not just the guys. Aaron Andrews is set for a pretty large payday. Michelle Tafoya moved out of football altogether. There are going to be some unique opportunities uh, that come, whether it's the sideline people or whether it's uh, the guys in the booth. Yeah, if, if only you got $2.8 million per bottle of bourbon on the Eat, Drink, Smoke podcast. I, I don't. <laughs> Get my accountant. Now. <laughs> You're not your accountant, Tony. Not your accountant, your agent. We'll be right back. Oh, I need an agent. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.